first off, I want to thank Joey. This place is insane. How f like this is just the fun factory. I just like there's a batting cage around. If you saw me earlier, I was just having a blast. I just want to run around and pick up everything, and um, I'll definitely be back. So thank you for having us. Um, and thank you, Martine. The guy is a mad scientist of creating beautiful surfboards. It's unreal. Um, we're talking about doing a project right now where uh, we go through all the steps of creating the board from the idea to how, you know, the size, the shape, and then uh, filming the whole process of, um, you know, cutting out the board and the skeleton, and then finally the, the end product of me surfing it out at 15 foot middle peak. I think it could be a pretty cool idea. So look out for that one. Might be six months down the road, but it should be pretty cool. Um, so for those that don't know me, I own SantaCruzWaves.com. It's uh, started as a website, and it kind of evolved into uh, a magazine. We have some copies up front. Um, but the the basis of um, the company is to really showcase people like Martine and people like Joey, the, the people that are doing, um, and Kyle, and gosh, all you. I mean, everyone that is like in this town has got some amazing, unique thing that they're doing. Um, and it's, I, we, we try to use our, or we do use our templates to, uh, to do that, to showcase the amazing talent here in the area, um, as well as give back and try and, um, you know, leave the community better, better than we found it. Um, yeah, I, I'm having a blast with it. It's, um, it's really fun. It's, it's very hard at times. Um, uh, you know, just, um, I mean, you run into, to speed bumps all the time, but overall it's, uh, I, I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. It's, it's thoroughly enjoyable. Um, so I, I don't want to, I, I think a lot of you know maybe what we do a bit in our website, so I, I might just jump into some questions and just kind of chat a little bit. So anyone have any of them? Yeah. Yeah, so my uh, love for surfing in the ocean started when I was about six years old in Hawaii, and my dad, uh, we went on a vacation there and took me out on a boogie board uh, over the reefs in Maui and uh, was on the front of the boogie board. I remember catching a wave and um, looking down and watching the reef just go right underneath me and going, oh, my God, I'm going to die. This is so scary but so fun. And I was just like after that, I was just hooked. It was there was no going back. So um, from that experience in Hawaii, I just never wanted to leave the water. I think I from that moment, I started growing gills and and I just I need the ocean to, to breathe to live. It's it's a it's pretty much a part of me now, and and I don't feel right if I'm out of the ocean for more than like three days. It just I feel weird, and I need to need to go get back in my uh, my aqua church, so to speak. So, yeah. So I have a question. How do you balance you know, Santa Cruz waves, your whole business life, with being a surfer? I mean, it's like you're not like a weekend surfer. You know, you got this. I'm turning into one. <laughs> turning into one. I mean, you have a lot. I you know you have a lot going on. You yeah. know, with the tour coming up and other things. So yeah, how do you balance that? That is a very good question, and I'm constantly trying to work on that. I think life in general is a is a huge uh, a balancing act. Um, I mean, we've got work. We've got everyone's, you know, so busy with their jobs, and we've got family, and we've got friends, and um, it's, it's, I think, a, um, a challenge that we all deal with probably in, until the day we die. I mean, it's like, but um, I think, uh, yeah, when you start getting too stressed at work or, you know, you got to go, okay, I, wh where, why, how did I get into this in the first place? It's from the ocean. It's from getting out there and the love for the ocean. So, that's kind of the reminders that you got to get back out there and get back to your roots and and you know do uh, do the things that feel good in your in in your soul. So um, uh, yeah, hopefully that answered your question. Hi, Kyle Tierman. Uh, good question. I I think that 
the um, the businesses it goes there's there's little little achievements little finishing lines that feel really good you know when I first started it it was okay you know like we know we, we've got this idea but we need to get um, we need to find that domain name so I remember laying down on my living room floor with with Casey who was with me my good friend and we were looking for domain names for hours and hours and then we came across Santa Cruz waves and it was free and we bought it so that was one little one we were stoked we got the domain we so um that's going way back sorry <laughs> but uh, you know as of recently you 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 know little achievements um like the the time February 6th 2010 was when we launched the site went live and that was a, a huge um, little achievement for me and moving forward you know there's been others and um, but I think as of recently the launch of our a print magazine something that people can pick up and feel that can um, you know sit in someone's uh, co- um, living room on their coffee table and um, I think that's probably it's been a lot of hard work and very rewarding. So that that magazine is is kind of like having a little um, eight by ten baby. <laughs> so yeah, any other questions? Yeah. Um, or actually, eight and a half by eleven. I know I know my dimensions. Just thinking that. Extreme sports risk taking. Uh-huh. When you think about everything you've done. What is one of the scariest moments that comes to mind? Um, does it have to be ocean related? <laughs> um, so when I was about 14 years old, my dad and I uh, uh, decided to climb Mount Shasta. And we just, my dad has been a mountaineer and um, we kind of were a little unprepared. We didn't really have too much um harness rope we uh we I don't even think we had crampons and so um we go up and we're I think the mountains over 14 and a half thousand feet and we're up at about 13,000 feet traversing across this massive um just huge traverse and and the mountain um what happened w- w- um is the slope would go down thousands of feet straight off into a glacier below so if you slip on that traverse, you're rolling down just by just thousands of feet till your death. So wh- my dad was, you know, kicking footsteps as we're going across this traverse, and and I'm I'm right behind him, and he's starting to when he, it's getting warmer and warmer that day, and so the snow started kind of slushing off, and so my he kind of shh, and I'm going, oh my God, he's gonna fall all the way. I'm gonna be stuck up here all by myself. So, um, luckily, we made it across, and I followed him, and, but that moment, looking down, and that's probably one of the scariest moments of my life, and stoked I'm here to talk to you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you.